What is the value of a mediated experience? What is the value of storytelling and its capacity to pattern our imagination? What is the value of cinema, virtual reality, augmented reality? Well, the value lies in the fact that these are all technologies of attention. And as Diana Slattery says, attention, right, absorption, is a prerequisite for any kind of interpersonal, educational, or transformational experience to transpire, right? In other words, you need to be in it. You need to be immersed, like when you're lost in a good book, like when you lose yourself in the midst of a story. The point is that undivided, unmixed, undivided attention is a form of prayer. We lean into it. We submit and surrender. Now today we live in the age of ADD. If you don't have ADD today, you're not paying attention. An infinite amount of signals and temptations are competing for our attention. We are oppressed by the amount of notifications vibrating on our phone, piercing our present moment, pulling us out of the here and now and into some kind of diversion and distraction. Attention is the new currency. Attention is the new oil. Attention is the economy. But at what cost, right? <laughs> now, back in the beginning of this video, I talked about the fact that what we need is to properly mediate attention and that only transformation, interpersonal education, influence, education, all the things that matter, okay, take place when we are in a state of complete absorption. In VR terms, people even use the term presence to describe when a VR machine or game is successful. When you get successfully absorbed and enveloped in the new reality, fully committed, they call that presence, right? And of course, today, everybody in the self-help wellness world is talking about learning to be present, cultivating mindfulness to be more present. What does it mean? to be present. Well, I think it's when you can feel the weight of the moment. You can feel the weight of the people you're with. You can feel the weight of your own contemplation. You can hear yourself think. If you're in a beautiful, uh, desolate, mystical landscape, you can appropriate it into your thinking process. You can appropriate the landscape into your mind. You can allow the landscape to landscape your mind in turn. And during these moments, we think, we probe, we appreciate, we have bliss, and awe, and reverence, and faith, and gratitude, and all the things that make our lives matter, and all the things that heal our soul. And we know we're living in a crisis of soul sickness. We know that depression is the most widespread illness in the world. We know that anxiety is gripping the hearts and minds of millions. And I think there's a relationship here. I think there is a correlation between this crisis of attention, this inability to be present, and this spike in anxiety and depression. We are like a, a hard drive, overloaded, needing urgent defragmentation. And how we get there, well, develop better mediated technology that takes into account our sensibility to competing input signals, Mediated experiences that clothe and comfort and envelop us into a uh, space in which we can adhere and learn and, and take in. And I think maybe psychedelic psychotherapy and meditation practice will continue to, to spike and to be practiced around the world as people learn to cultivate holding spaces for one another to be still. <laughs> but again, my friends, we need to work on this together. We need to go to this place together because I think it's a, it's a, there are fractures in our psyche and I think we're all feeling the pain and I think we need to do something about it now. So let's talk.